So we're we're talking about the ground combat soldier oh, okay. here, and this is, you know, it, I, I'm thinking about you know one of our seals. I mean, you you certainly know him well. It was one of my most awesome guys in Charlie Platoon. Super, just a physical, you know, stud, awesome dude, who's like going down with heat exhaustion and like can't can't continue forward. And I'm having like, give me your machine gun, take my you know my rifle, my M4. We got to move, man. We can't stay here. We're gonna get. We're gonna get hammered. You know, we knew we were gonna get. We we're gonna get uh, ambushed at any second. So it was uh, just the the physical nature of that. Like I can't physically continue because I'm carrying, you know, eighty pounds of gear on this patrol, and it's 117 degrees right now, and and I got a little behind the hydration curve uh, because we've been out here for 48 hours doing this kind of stuff, and I'm going down with heat exhaustion. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's something that people, when you're talking about technology and are riding in vehicles or flying an aircraft or shooting missiles, and there's there's just no getting around the the guys carrying a rucksack, you know, a heavy rucksack with gear and going on foot. And I, you, Ramadi was unique like that for us because if you drove into those areas, you were going to get blowed up. And uh, it was it was a good reminder of the physical nature. Of, uh, of of war and I think you know what he's talking about with the the ground combat soldier is is exactly right. It's just it's just savage, like it's just you know when you whenever you put on you know like at the beginning of land warfare training and you haven't put on a rucksack in whatever two months because you were you're coming back from deployment and then you go on leave and whatever and you get out to the desert warfare training facility and you put your gear on for the first time and you're like yeah. The first, it's one of those things where the first like 20 minutes, you're just thinking this completely sucks. And then it just sucks so bad that the suck kind of numbs out, but it's just savage. It's just, it just, it's just a constant level of pain. And no, no matter how good of shape you thought you were, I mean, that guy I was just talking about was in awesome shape. He was a great, you know, physical specimen, like awesome dude, trained hard all the time. One of the best seals I know. Uh, I mean, it happened to me. I remember Johnny Kim was patrolling into position. Johnny Kim was like, you know, here's our corpsman. He was like, hey, uh, Leif, you doing okay? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like uh, I don't know, man. You know, he's, he's, I was like super pale, and he, he could see that I was, uh, and I, I just, I, I was dehydrated, and we're already smoked. We've been up for 24 hours. So he like gave me an IV, and you know, to just help me, help me recuperate. It's. And we were in good shape. I mean, we trained hard. We were already acclimatized. It's just, it was, it was hard. It was physically difficult. All those emotional things are absolutely yeah, the case. True. But it was a, phys it was physically hard.